Hello and welcome to this very brief presentation related to transfer of heat energy by radiation. In our previous heat transfer lectures, we outlined heat energy transferred by conduction, convection and radiation. In this presentation, we're purely going to consider the radiation effect. We commence by stating the Stefan Boltzmann law, an increase in absolute temperature, that's in Kelvin, of 1% of the radiating black body results in an increase in 4% in the energy emitted. Given a net heat transfer equation here, so Q is equal to sigma multiplied by epsilon multiplied by A. That's multiplied by, in brackets, T1 to the power of 4 minus T0 to the power of 4. Here's your nomenclature. Lowercase sigma is the Stefan Boltzmann constant, 56.7 times 10 to negative 9, having the unit of the watt meter negative 2, Kelvin K negative 4. Note that can be written in this format also. Lowercase epsilon is the emissivity, that's the ratio, we'll define that on the next slide. A is the surface area of our material or body, meter squared. T1 is the surface temperature of the material or body we're considering. That will be in Kelvin. And T0 is the temperature of the surroundings, again in Kelvin. So there's a net heat transfer equation we'll be using that underpins this presentation. Here are some definitions for your reference. Emissivity symbol lowercase epsilon is defined here. It's the ratio of the energy radiated from a material surface, the body's surface, to that radiated from a perfect emitter, that's usually termed a black body, at the same temperature and wavelengths, under the same viewing conditions. Now emissivity is a dimensionless number and it ranges between zero for a perfect reflector and one for a perfect emitter. As a definition, it's just stated for background information. So our transfer of heat energy by radiation continued. Here are typical emissivity values. Note for the black body, the emissivity value is one. We'll refer to this table too in the following problems we're going to consider. For your reference within this presentation, we will need to convert temperatures between Celsius and Kelvin from our previous presentation on linear expansion and heat energy stated the thermodynamic temperature scale which is the Kelvin Kelvin scale commences from the absolute zero temperature minus 273.15 degrees C so we convert from degrees Celsius to Kelvin we simply add nominally 273 to our temperature value and of course, that's because the increments between degree C and K are the same. One degree C is one K. Again, extracted from our previous presentation, here are some calculations converting between the Celsius and the Kelvin scales. I'll leave an example for you to review at your own pace. But we will need this understanding to convert the temperatures given in the questions from degree C to K. So here's example 1G, extracted from our workbook. So a pipe of 50 millimeters external diameter carries hot water. The outer surface of the pipe is at 80 degrees C and the surrounding air is at 15 degrees C. We've got to calculate the heat energy transfer per meter length of the pipe per second by radiation only. The emissivity value of the pipe material is given as 0.3. So as always, let's commence with a sketch of the problem. Here's our pipe. We're given the outside diameter. It's 50 millimeters. Given the pipe outer temperature, labeled as T1 here, it's 80 degrees C. And we have the surrounding air temperature, labeled as T0. That's 15 degrees C. We're calculating the heat transfer per unit length. So L is effectively one meter here. So example 1G, here's the solution. Extracting the information from the question, Note that the outside diameter D is stated as 50 millimetres, so that's been converted to metres. 
The outside surface temperature of the pipe, labelled as T1 here, is stated as 80 degrees C in the question. Notice that's been converted to Kelvin by adding 273 to the degree C value, so 353K here. And similarly for the surrounding air at 15 degrees C, labelled as T0 here, 15 add to 273, so 288K. The emissivity of the pipe material stated in the question, so lowercase epsilon 0.3. Of course, we can assume the value of the Stefan Boltzmann constant. So firstly, we calculate the surface area of the pipe per meter length, symbol A here. So that's pi multiplied by the diameter, multiplied by the length, which would be 1 here. So inserting the values, we can calculate the surface area of 1 meter length of pipe. That's 0 0.15707 meters squared. And then step 2, we can calculate the heat transfer in this case by radiation only, symbol Q here. Here's our formula defined earlier. And then we simply now insert the above values into this formula. So Q evaluates to 23.1 watts. That's the heat energy transfer per meter length of the pipe per second by radiation effects only. Here's exercise 1G. A piece of tungsten wire has a diameter of 0.7 millimeters and a temperature of 218 degrees C. We've got to find the length of the wire if the heat energy radiated per second from the surface of the wire is 15 joules. Or given the temperature of the surroundings, is 20 degrees C. The emissivity value of tungsten is stated as 0.35. For reference, I've stated the cross-sectional area of the wire and the diameter of the wire in the bracket. I'd encourage you to start the presentation and attempt exercise 1G. It requires our radiation equation to be transposed to find the length of the wire. I will show you the full work solution on the following slides. Here's exercise 1G. Here's exercise 1G, just drawn a sketch of our problem here. Wire temperature stated as 218 degrees C, shown here, and the temperature of our surroundings, 20 degrees C. So essentially with this solution, we need to rearrange our energy equation to find A, the outside surface area, and then from our formula for the surface area, we can rearrange to find the value of the wire length labelled L. The full work solution is shown on the following slides. So exercise 1G, here's the beginning of the solution. As always, extracting the information from the question. I'll let you review this slide at your own pace. Again, as always, notice the outside temperature of the pipe was converted to K, as was the surroundings temperature or air temperature converted to K here. Just note that the 15 joules radiated per second so q is actually 15 watts here as always dimensions converted into meters exercise 1g solution continued so part one we're going to calculate the surface area a by rearranging this equation for a here certain the values we calculate the area to be 20.88 times 10 to the negative 6 meters squared and then step two here, we can calculate the length of the wire, symbol L. Noting the surface areas formula for the wire, A, is pi multiplied by D multiplied by L. We can simply rearrange the equation for L. That's the surface area divided by pi D. Certain the values. Our length is 0 0.00949 meters. So the length required is approximately 9.5 millimeters. Here's question three extracted from our workbook. We're asked to determine the dimensions of a square steel plate of temperature 250 degrees C if it's required to absorb heat at a rate of five kilowatts. We can extract the appropriate information from table two on our previous slide. Answer is shown in the bracket here. But in this calculation, we're given the actual heat absorbed Q value here by the square steel plate. So we need to determine the area of the square plate when at a temperature of 250 degrees C. We know the Stefan Boltzmann constant and we can extract the emissivity from table two. 
I'd encourage you to stop the presentation and attempt question three, but I'll show you the full work solution on the following slides. So question three, here's the beginning of the solution. Extracting the information from the question. We know the Stefan Boltzmann constant. The surface temperature of the plate, T, is 250 degrees C, converted into K here. And from table two, the emissivity of the steel plate is 0 0.7. This is for an oxidized steel plate. Here's the extract from table two. Question three, solution continued. So we know that heat transfer due to radiation alone from the furnace, symbol Q, given by this equation. We now need to rearrange the equation to find the area A. So divide throughout by the sigma, epsilon, and t to the four terms. We can evaluate A, insert in the values. The area required is 1.684 meters squared. And step two here, we need to determine the dimension B of our square plate. So dimension B is simply the square root of A. And that evaluates to approximately 1.3 meters. Question six extracted from our workbook. A cubical furnace has internal dimensions of 1.25 meters along each side. The internal surface temperature of the furnace is 800 degrees C. At the internal center of the furnace is located a sphere of diameter 500 millimeters having an emissivity of 0.6 and a surface temperature of 500 degrees C. We're asked to calculate the rate of heat transfer between the furnace walls and the sphere and state the direction of the energy transfer. We can assume the furnace to be black. Just note for reference, the surface area of the sphere can be calculated from the formula area of the sphere is equal to pi times the diameter of the sphere. Answer is shown in the bracket here. I'd encourage you to stop the presentation, attempt question six, but I'll show you the full solution on the following slides. So question six, commencement of the solution. Initially extract the information from the question. Let's firstly consider the cubical furnace. We know from the questions, the dimensions of one wall of the furnace, 1.25 meters by 1.25 meters. So we can calculate the area of one wall of the furnace down here. And of course, as it's a cubical furnace, we can calculate the area of all six walls of the furnace, labeled AF here, stated here. Area, of course, in meters squared. The surface temperature of the furnace labeled as TF here, it's given as 800 degrees C in the question, and that's been converted to Kelvin here. We're informed that the furnace is a black box, so the emissivity of a black box, epsilon F shown here for the furnace is one. That's for a black body from table two. And we have the Stefan Boltzmann constant as before, stated here. Question six, solution continued. Extract the information from the question for the sphere. So the diameter of the internal sphere, ds, is 500 millimeters, that's 0.5 meters. The emissivity of the sphere, epsilon s, is 0.6, stated in the question. The surface temperature of the sphere, ts, 400 degrees C converted to Kelvin. And the surface area of the sphere, as, is calculated from the equation pi d squared where d is 0.5 meters. So calculating the surface area of the sphere, meter squared. We can then calculate the heat transfer due to radiation from the furnace, labeled QF here. Here's our equation for QF. And inserting the values. So the heat transfer due to radiation from the furnace in kilowatts shown here. Then we undertake a very similar calculation for the heat transfer due to radiation, but this time from the sphere, QS, shown here. So finally, the heat transfer of energy is from the furnace to the sphere, because the furnace is outputting the greater heat transfer. And this rate of heat transfer is calculated as, as QF minus QS. Inserting the values calculated above.
heat transfer is approximately 699.4 kilowatts. That's the end of the solution to question 6. Here's a bibliography used to help generate this presentation, which I hope has been of interest to you, and thank you for viewing.